We're here at TechnoTurn in Hastings and they've just invested in their eighth star machine. So Jonathan here is going to tell me why, but Paul, what are you up to? Yep, and I'm here with Gary Harrison and we're going to be learning about the latest acquisition, which is the SW12 R2. Without these star sliding head machines, TechnoTurn wouldn't be as successful as it is today and they're fundamental to the future of the business. Jonathan, interesting story here because you were going to buy this machine, then you weren't, and then you did buy the machine. So why did you go for it? That's true. Uh, originally, this machine tool investment was lined up pre-COVID for a specific contract of parts that one of our existing customers would like to source from us. But COVID hit, there was a downturn in general, uh, and so our investment plans slowed down for a little bit. But when we got back into 2021 and our investment program restarted, we recognised that the Star SW12 was still the right fit for TechnoTurn and met the needs of our customers, so we went ahead with the investment. I'm Gary Harrison, um, I'm Machine Shop Manager. My day-to-day -day duties are organising a workshop and doing a lot of programming and setting on your parts and your machines, proving. Okay, let's talk yep. about this SW12. This yep. is a new machine. What do you like about it and how does it compare to your existing star lathes? What's different? We can do the more complex parts. Some of the difficult features it allows us to do easier than actually the other machines. How does it do that? What's different with the machine? Um, we've got a balance turning so we can rough and finish together. So it allows us to take one cut, speeds up the cycle time, actually simplifies the programming um, and you get a better power out the end and better swarf control. It gives us a fantastic combination of technical capability but also flexibility to meet the needs of our customers in a subcontract market. So were you buying it to open up capacity and what route were you going down with this? A couple of different reasons. Initially to try and reduce cycle time so we can reduce our costs and potentially be more competitive in the marketplace. And has it done that? It has done that. Simultaneous machining has allowed us to reduce our cycle times on historic parts by as much as 30%. So they take less time to make, we can offer those savings to customers, but also be more competitive. But also the reduced cycle time allows us to get jobs through the machines more quickly, so we reduce our lead time to customers as well. Quite a lot of tools in there, sometimes it allows us to set up multiple parts, leaving the tools in there, so it makes it easy. This part in particular just makes it easier, having an extra tool, so it, you don't have to think as much, you can just use the tools in there. And I notice with the back working attachment you've got eight tools but yep. you've also got on the platter the ability to have even more tools to work on the back spindle, is that correct? Yeah that's correct, that allows more than enough tools that we're, we're ever going to need. I want to talk about this, this balance turning yep. and the advantages and where you've seen them since yep. you've had this machine because it goes beyond just being able to remove metal quicker doesn't it, yeah. there's a lot more to explain. Um, on this part here uh, it allows us to do one pass so we get a roughing and finishing cut in simultaneous so this part in particular it would be very difficult to rough it and finish it in two ops because it was so small it will bend away so it allows us to get the finish we require. So how do you handle deflection and things like that? Because uh, that's experience. Obviously this machine makes it easier because we've got to balance and rough it but if you didn't have that you have to then play around and do a lot more. This, this just does make it a lot easier to program. So we use the coolant to clear it out and also to eject the part because uh, we don't want damaging on the front of the part where it ejects it. So it washes the coolant through, then it'll put a short blast of air to ensure there's no part and it works every time. Speed of this machine, I couldn't believe 15,000 yeah. RPM on the front, yeah. 15,000 on the back, yeah. 12,000 on the driven tools. Yeah. That must help you reduce those size and tops. Yeah, I mean, obviously, on the uh, smaller parts, you need the RPM to get the cutting speeds, and obviously, that reduces the cycle time drastically. Um, and the fact yeah. that you've got direct drive spindle motors on here as yeah. well ensures that your indexing positioning is yeah, yeah, very yeah. highly accurate, too. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good feature. Now you're a subcontract machine shop. You don't know what's coming in through the door from one week to the next. Is this a machine that you use all the time? Absolutely. So flexibility is key to us in any machine. 
It's fantastic to have machines that are technologically focused on specific needs to be as efficient as possible, but without flexibility we can find machines sitting idle unnecessarily. So the SW12 is great at small, high precision turn parts, but the flexible nature of its capabilities means it's running all the time. This is your eighth star machine. Why do you yes. keep going back to star? It's a combination of great products, great service and reliability for us. And give us an example of that then. Um, well, as you say, we've got eight machines here and I can't think of a period longer than maybe a single day where a machine's gone down with a fault. Uh, service, maintenance, reliability, they're all outstanding from start. So we wouldn't hesitate to buy another one. You've got to weigh out the costs. If you had a favourite, this would oh, be? Oh yeah, oh, yeah so I'd always go for this. So given the choice, yes, I would go for the Star SW12 over the SBs we have. Um, great machine. Hopefully we get another one soon.